solo piano in the sense of the process? Do you have a work process to prepare a piece for solo piano? Uh, no, I just, uh, I confess, I'm not very organized that way. Well, no, no, yeah, the other part is how much of it is arranged? Is it prearranged? Um, very little of <laughs> solo piano. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have really, uh, you know, real arrangements. Mm -hmm. um, on some things, they're uh, slightly arranged, but uh, very few of the solo pieces I play uh, or arranged. I just, I'm just sort of an off the cuff kind of guy. You know, just play the, uh, play the song as I know the melody and, and uh, as I know how to reharmonize. But uh, I, it's very, very few songs I, I, I've had uh, in did a whole. The tough thing for me in solo piano is the, the texture to, to have everything, to have bass, to have uh, rhythm, whatever. Well, so you, yes, you but there, there are different ways of doing it. Yeah. You know, like uh, um, an Oscar Peterson or Art Tatum played a full, full orchestral sound. Bill Evans had another kind of way, you know. He, a lot of times you didn't always hear the bass. <coughs> you know, I mean, it was That's concept, and, and then you have McCoy Tyner, which is you know another uh, kind of sound. So for me, I kind of put what I know from each each guy, kind of put it together. So you might hear a little of everything in in a, in a solo piece, you know, for, in my way of doing it. Uh, that is, if I'm at my best and not too nervous. <laughs> so it's like you make your, choice, your choices on the spot, not really yeah, working Yeah, pretty much. Them. Now, if I play the same song over and over, some things become habit, you know, and it might sound like an arrangement, but it's not really, you know. Um, and there are certain songs like um, My Old Flame, I have sort of a, Re, re harmonization of it. You know this song? Can you play it for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 